So let's talk about a Cartesian coordinate system. A Cartesian coordinate system is a plane with two perpendicular number lines. Ordinarily, we label the horizontal axis the x-axis, and the vertical axis the y-axis. Depending on your situation, you may label the scales on the axes in, in different ways, but we always label them so that you have consistent size units on each axis. So in our example, we're just going to keep things kind of simple. Small numbers. You don't have to use the same scale on both axes, but the units are the same size on each axis. So if that's one here, the same distance here to go down. The number lines don't have to cross at zero, zero, but often that's how we do it. Um, that would be a starting place, unless you know something about the points you're plotting and then Zero, zero isn't even part of your region of consideration. You might not have that show up. So we say uh, locations of points are written as ordered pairs. So we use special notation. We have parentheses, a comma. These parentheses mean there's a first coordinate goes here, the second coordinate goes there. So uh, let's make an ordered pair. So the first element of the ordered pair is the horizontal or x position. That says the point we're thinking about lies above 2 on the x-axis. And then the second number here is the vertical or y position. Sometimes we call it the x-coordinate, the y-coordinate. So if the y-coordinate's 4, that means that the, ver the vertical position that lies across from 4 on the y-axis. Off we go. So we look at a point there, x is 2, y is 4. We can try some other ones. Where will these guys end up? This says that the x is minus 1 and the y is 3. X is minus one is here. Y is three is there, so here we go. Oh, we can also label them. Sometimes you do that. Two, four, uh, minus one, three, like that. And then two minus one, the same two for X, but now the Y is minus one. So my, two for X and minus one for Y. Two, minus one, like So that's how you apply points. Another um, definition is the quadrants. The axes uh, break the plane into four quadrants. You get quadrants when the axes cross at zero. So we talk about this quadrant up here being the first quadrant and this one over here being the second quadrant, and so on around the clock. So sometimes you could say, well, let's see. Um, the point minus 1, 3 lies in the second quadrant. The point 2, minus 1 lies in the fourth quadrant. And 2, 4 lies in the first quadrant. So we're, we're all in good shape now for plotting points. And that's the Cartesian coordinate system. That was the first, th first thing we said we were going to uh, be talking about. We'll be back with the second thing in a second.